Hi, I'm Charlie Love, and in this Google Workspace admin video brought to you by Apps Events and Acer, we're going to take a quick look at security groups in Google Workspace and why you, a Google Workspace admin, should be using them. Security groups help you regulate, audit, and monitor groups used for permission and access control purposes. They enable admins to apply a label to an existing Google group to distinguish it from email list groups. They also provide strong guarantees that external groups owned outside your organization and non-security groups in your organization cannot be added as a member of a security group. Also, once a label is assigned to a group, it cannot be removed. Groups in Google Workspace are used in a variety of ways. Groups can help teams communicate and collaborate, and groups can be used to control access to important apps and resources. Security groups can help admins manage these categories of groups differently to increase their overall security. For example, if you have compliance or regulatory requirements for managing access control, you may have set up naming conventions to keep track of which groups were used for this purpose. With security groups, you can now assign a security label to these groups and more easily manage them without having to use workarounds like naming conventions. As an administrator, you can grant access to sensitive information and resources using security groups. You can make any group a security group. These groups appear with a security label in the groups list. Setting a group as a security group allows you, as an administrator, to apply security policies to a group. We recommend any group that you apply policies to to be a security group. Also, to enforce policies using a dynamic group, you must make it a security group. Creating a security group also gives you the option to prevent users from automatically joining that group. Security group membership is limited to users, service accounts, and security groups that you permit. Also with security groups, you prevent external or non-security groups from joining your group. Only a security group in the same organization can join another security group. Creating a security group also ensures that member groups only include members allowed by the parent group. A group joining a security group must have the same or more restrictive membership permissions. You can create a group as a security group. In the admin console, go to menu, directory, groups, create a group, enter the group information, check the security box, click next, fill out the access settings and then click next again. Enter the security settings, click create group and then click done. You can change an existing group to a security group by adding the security label. Once you do this, it takes on the qualities of a security group. This process adds security features, but does not remove any other features of the original group. And this action is permanent. So in the admin console, go to menu, directory, groups, click on the group name, group information, labels. Check the security box, click save. You've now changed an existing group into a security group. To enforce policies using dynamic groups, add a security label to them. For example, you might create a dynamic group to set policies for everyone at your organization who works in a specific geographic location. As users move and change the location in their user profile, the system automatically adds or removes them from the group. To do this, create a dynamic group of users who meet the criteria that you want. Add a security label to the group. Create a policy and choose which policies take precedence. Using security groups and particularly dynamic groups can significantly improve your admin workflows and enhance the security of your organization. So that's a quick overview of security groups. I'm Charlie Love and this Google Workspace admin video has been brought to you 
by Apps Events and Acer.